morning. I am currently down on the New South Wales coast. Uh, Matt is looking after somebody's practice for a few days and I decided to come down with him. I may end up going back maybe tonight or tomorrow. It's now Monday morning. Uh, only because I literally, I've been up at the Sunshine Coast for a couple of weeks looking after our friend's property while they were on holiday. And I literally had, I think, one or two nights back at home before I had to pack up again and come down here. So I may very well go home tonight and then Matt can follow me on Wednesday. But uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I don't know how I'm going to go working in this little Airbnb that we're staying in because it's not really set up to work in so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna go anyway we'll see how that we'll see how that plans out um, my my arm is getting very sore so I'm gonna put you down I just have to head up the street because I need to drop something off to Matt he forgot a couple of things when he was walking out the door this morning so I'll do that first and then I will report back on my scent of the day because as you can see I've just had a shower, my hair is still wet and I haven't actually decided what I'm going to wear yet so stay tuned for that. I've plugged my mic in but it's it's flopping so hopefully it doesn't encroach on the shot so I'm just sitting in this little nook here uh, trying to get some work done and I thought I would share my scent of the day I decided to in fact I should get it out so that I can show it to you although it's just a sample so there's no point really showing you the little vial. But this is a sample of Solaris by Penhaligons. It's one of their newer releases from 2023. So this one is a really sweet tropical floral with a woody base. There's some citrus in the opening. I think there's lemon and maybe a little bit of blackcurrant. I also thought there might have been a bit of ginger in here because it, it comes off as smelling like a bit like candied ginger or sugared ginger without the heat and the spice but there's no ginger listed so the scent profile might be a result of just uh, that citrus the, le the lemon coupled with the tropical florals I think the florals in here are tiare ylang ylang and jasmine so it's just a really sweet pretty tropical floral and then you have cedar wood and I think some sandalwood in the base so the the woody base is quite light and airy and dry and the overall effect to me is if I smell this up close on my skin then I do get a lot of that sweetness and and sugary florals but if I just allow the perfume to create a little scent bubble around me I do get quite a lot of the woody facets it's a really pretty fragrance and a very easy wear for summer which I think is the intent um, however I, I'm not sure if I consider this to be super super unique I think I have smelled this kind of scent profile many times before but I will say this does create a very nice scent bubble and I expect it's probably going to last pretty well throughout the day and I just really love the opening because the opening is even though it comes off really sweet you've got this lemon with uh, vanilla and I think orange blossom or neroli as well because I'm definitely getting a bit of an orange blossom burst when when it opens and I just I just really enjoy it I think it's a really pretty fragrance it's very easy to wear uh, particularly in the heat yeah I, I don't know if I have much more to say about it I, I def I would recommend smelling it if you like fragrances that have a tropical bent to them this doesn't have a coconut note or any sort of coconutty suntan lotion sort of feel to it so it, it really is just centered around uh, those sweet florals and the woods in the base 
Okay, so I forgot to film this morning, <laughs> uh, but I'm off to an all-day meeting today. I've just arrived at the car park, and uh, my scent of the day is Pikavaya Dharma by Zershoff. Okay, so I just jumped back in the car. It's the end of the day. Uh, I smell great all day long today. We were just like in an air conditioned room all day long and I could smell myself, but I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was overwhelmingly projecting everywhere. I could smell my perfume all day long. It made me feel good. Yeah, I mean, I, I had a great meeting. <laughs> I complete 180 on last week and the other projects that I was working on. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's really just nice to have one day where you don't feel like you're completely shit at everything. And today was that day for me. It just, it just reinstated a little bit of faith in myself about what I'm capable of. Anyway, big tick for Picavaya Dharma. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's just one of those perfumes that really, for me, really feels like me. Uh, and I guess if you, if you have any view or understanding of the types of fragrances that I enjoy wearing, you know, lots of aldehydes, um, very vintagey type things, uh, lots of white florals, uh, Pika Vyadama just ticks all those boxes really and it's just the perfect thing to wear in a work scenario or in a meeting scenario where it's a little bit elevated there's some you know kind of important people in the room and you just want to present in a certain way and yeah I just I just had a really good day I'm worthy of having my job it's nice to have that reminder sometimes all right See you soon. Are we having burgers, Poppy? Right, so I'm off to a Saturday afternoon networking event. Don't mind my dead plant. That's soon to be going to this, the plant cemetery. And I just thought I would show you my, my outfit of the day. So it is a networking event. There's gonna be lots of business women there, but it's also a Saturday. So I've opted for sneakers uh, with some wide leg pants from Scanlan and Theodore. I love these pants. They're really, really high waisted. They're right, right sitting up against my rib cage, which I didn't think I would like, but actually I really, really love. And just a striped button up cotton shirt. I really wanted to wear a t-shirt, uh, but all of my t-shirts at the moment are stained or have a tear or something. So I obviously need to upgrade my t-shirts. But anyway, so that is my outfit of the day. I forgot perfume. <laughs> the most important thing. Um, all right. What do I want to wear for this? It's a Saturday. I want it to be kind of fun. Maybe, hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe there's something over here that I might want. I've just switched out my perfumes in the perfume cabinet downstairs. So I guess in theory, I should be looking in the cupboard downstairs, but I think maybe I might 
go for Narciso Rouge today. It's a pretty fragrance, a um, bit of iris in there, sort of sweet as well with some sweet florals, I think maybe rose or peony or something. So um, yeah, I really like this one. I think this would be nice for a Saturday afternoon women's networking event. And actually, just as a last minute thing, I've decided to spritz just a couple of spritzes of Fleur de Rain over the top because I love it. Tuesday and it's about lunchtime about 12 30 and the mailman just came and dropped off a little package and I'm super super excited to get this package this is a package that came from my friend henna in Canada her handle is canadianbeauty.com and if you follow me on Instagram or any of my social medias you probably know who henna is because we've referenced each other quite a lot and she just sent me the most amazing pack of decants and I, I can't stop smiling because I'm super super excited and they're ones that I can't get here although except one of them I've just learned they've just started shipping to Australia so, so I now can buy this if I wanted to blind buy it but thankfully thanks to Henna I now have a sample of it uh, and that is Glossier U I've been wanting to try this for so long my gosh, I'm really hot because I just ran up the stairs. I've got to put the aircon on. Hang on. That may be a bit noisy, but I'm boiling. <laughs> so Glossier U is, I guess, marketed as a, a musky, your skin but better kind of scent. And what really jumps out at me from this fragrance, just as a first impression, because I literally... <laughs> I literally just got this package about 15 minutes ago and I've just ripped into them. I'm still, I haven't even opened all of them yet. Um, but Glossier U definitely has... Uh, a really dry, orisey feel to it. And I'm glad I didn't just go out and blind buy it because with all of the iris, orisey, musky type fragrances that I have in my wardrobe, I really don't think it is something that I need over and above what I already own. Although it is delightful and very easy to wear. And if you don't already have it and you don't have something like this already, then I would highly recommend um, checking it out because at price wise, it's still not too bad compared to a lot of designer fragrances of a similar ilk. Uh, and then when you get to niche, you're jumping up another level again. Although the price gap between designer and niche seems to be closing uh, quite rapidly in more recent months. So anyway, so that's that one. Um, the next one is Olant from Diptyque. You can't get this one in Australia. We do get Diptyque fragrances in Australia, but we can't get this one because there is no Diptyque boutique here in Australia, at least none that I'm aware of. And the reason I had the biggest smile on my face when I started this video, apart from just the joy of receiving this package, I this just made me feel so happy, this perfume. This, to me, smells like Christmas but with a bit of greenness to it. And then after a few minutes, it started to develop a little bit of a smokiness from incense. And I, I, I don't know why, but I just really, really love it. It's quite sweet. There is a sweet undertone to this, and I guess that is coupled really nicely with the cinnamon that's in here. I don't know what other notes are in here, but um, yeah, it, it like I say, it, it smells like Christmas to me. I really, really like it. So thank you, Henna. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I've just, you know, lately I've just been really struggling with finding fragrances that I haven't tried yet and finding things to talk about. And there's plenty. I mean, there's loads of fragrances that I haven't tried. Don't get me wrong. 
it's just that um, they're not all coming to my doorstep through the post, you know. <laughs> and, and I'm really trying not to buy too much at the moment. I, I have picked up a couple of little bottles of things in the Facebook groups recently. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I don't really feel like buying anything. And I, I want to be able to try things without having to rip out my credit card every time I want to try something new. So uh, this is just super, super exciting. The next one she put in here is called ne Neige, Neiges. I don't even know who this one is by. That is really soapy and cold, which I guess would make sense given, given the name. And she, she put this one in here, she said, especially because I keep saying that I like cold weather. <laughs> What am I getting here? I feel like I'm getting a bit of a neroli vibe, but it doesn't really smell like neroli. There is sort of a green bent to it as well. It feels a little bit of an older era in terms of, you know, those lovely soapy white florals that you used to be able to get. I really like this. I don't even know who, I don't know who this is by. So I'll have to uh, maybe do a bit of Googling or just ask Hannah <laughs> to tell me what the what the brand is but uh yeah and then the other one the last one is maitre perfume and maitre perfume Egantier, uh and it's called bois bois de turc i don't know i don't know how you say that anyway i'm running out of skin so <laughs> might have to spray it on a card because i'm impatient and i just want to smell it oh okay so this smells a bit gingery to me but i'm not sure that it's ginger it's got a bit of a quite an aromatic smell as well maybe some iris there's a, a lot of sweetness coming through now so assuming an ambery base of some sort it's kind of resinous it's like a spicy aromatic resinous fragrance to me oh that's really interesting right this would be really great as our weather starts cooling down I think. So that was Maitre Parfumé Egantier Bois de Turquie. Turkey? Turk. Interesting. Super, super. Cannot wait to try these properly. Oh, that, that Eau de Lant is just, it's getting a real powdery vibe to it now. Mmm. Glossier U smells clean and fresh as I anticipated. And Neige is just, yeah, drying down to maybe a Lily of the Valley. I think it might be Lily of the Valley that's in here. It's giving it that green sort of soapiness. Anyway, again, thank you so much, Henna. Thoroughly enjoyed opening this package. Very much looking forward to trying these a little bit more and getting to know them. And I need to get back to work, but I will check in a little bit later. Good morning. Okay, so it's Friday morning. Yay. Happy for me about that. Uh, I just did a spin class. It's, what's the time? It's 10 to seven. So I just got back from a spin class. The spin class was at 5.30. It's been a long time since I've done a spin class. I think last time was several months before I got married uh, when I was still in my, I need to get fit phase and it hurt um, but also I am still quite stiff through my neck and shoulder um, it's not hurting as much as it was but it is still quite stiff so um, and and that stiffness translates to a little bit of pain when I'm doing certain movements but hence the spin class because I thought I still can't run running is still too jolty and I just need I need to do something I need to do some exercise um, so yeah I'm feeling good I I love this feeling I love this feeling of getting back from doing something something good for my body uh, so I have my coffee. Poppy has just been down and collected the paper. I've just come up to my office to grab my camera. Matt is at Jiu Jitsu. So I, I, can, I, have, I have the house to myself. I need to have a shower, but I, I was really quite desperate for coffee. I think I had about four hours sleep last night. So yeah, anyway, I'm very glad that it's Friday. But there was something that I wanted to share with you. So let's go downstairs 
because something came in the mail this week which I ordered and I it was one of those things where you just order something on a whim just you know didn't really put much thought into it and it turned out to be an absolute win so I've been hearing so much about these nest perfume oils I need to put you down somewhere that's not going to work okay you are now precariously perched on top of a candle anyway so nest perfume oils I've heard so much about them it's taken them a while to hit Australia to be honest they did at Christmas time they had uh, like a gift pack with the Madagascar vanilla oil in it and it was about I think it was about $180 and but the oil the size of the oil was tiny this is a 30 ml bottle I think and I bought the Balinese coconut now I know a lot of you don't like the smell of coconut in perfume I love the smell of coconut in perfume I don't like my perfumes to smell too suntan lotiony but I do like the smell of coconut it just makes me think of obviously holidays it makes me think of my old hometown when I spent lots of time at the beach it makes me think of cocktails um, it's just a good feeling okay so that's why I like the smell of coconut so Balinese coconut perfume oil is an absolute winner I have been wearing it non-stop for the last three days I've worn it during the daytime I've worn it at night time I could just wear this on its own and it would be fantastic it's quite potent you only need a little bit and it's quite strong it actually feels like you're actually wearing a perfume not just you know like a scented body lotion or something they are quite pricey so for this size bottle it's about it's over $200 Australian so which seems like an awful lot for a perfume oil but now that I've tried it and that's why I picked it up last week on a whim because we had Sephora had the afterpay day sale on so I picked it up uh, just to give it a go and see what I thought and I really really like it and again it's very potent so you only need a tiny bit this bottle will last me a long time I think so I can understand now the pricing of it of course now that I have this one and I like it I want all of them <clears throat> I think the one that's calling me the most for the next purchase might be the Indian Jasmine one there's also a rose there's obviously vanilla and I think there's one more I can't remember so this actually reminds me a lot of the uh, vanilla powder by Matière Premier, understandably because that fragrance has a coconut note in it only without the powdery element and without the woody element of it I feel like I can wear this a lot more easily anyway so it was just a, a random discovery I'm really really happy with it and now I really want the whole set <laughs> But I don't know if I could justify having the whole set and of course they are very very good for layering so my favorite layering combination with this so far has been uh, this with uh, pure extreme by M Mikalev which is now sadly empty this will probably be my scent of the day again today and I don't know what I'll pair it with I might actually pair it with Unu by Jeroboam because this has a bit of a beachy vibe I think there is a coconut note in here and it also has a lots of white florals and stuff so it's very nice I reckon I think they'll go nicely together all right I need to go have a shower and get ready for my day and I'll check in with you later We've been out walking Poppy this morning. It's been a very relaxing Saturday morning. Just did some stretches in the park, about 20 minutes of stretches. My shoulder is definitely on the mend. I went and saw a sports physio. And scent of the day is, what was it? What did I wear? Any good towel? 
what's it called? Matin Dirage? Dirage Matin. Un Dirage Matin. Matin. Dirage Matin. Un Matin Dirage by. <laughs> Matt's laughing at me. By Anik Gutel or Gutel now. And I think I also spritzed a couple of spritzes of Dior Riviera, which is lovely and fresh and just perfect for the outdoors. Poor Poppy, she misses out. This is my nourish bowl. Because I'm trying to be healthy and Matt got what'd you get? Mushrooms. Mushrooms on toast. Oh Bobby, you're such a good girl. Okay, one of my few tasks for today is to try on these boots that I just received in the mail. <clears throat> I did try them on last night, very, very briefly, and I wasn't sure about them. So today I just want to try them on with maybe a couple of outfits and see if I can get them to work. And if not, they're obviously gonna go back. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the boots. They are by a company called Baird Footwear. You've probably heard me talk about them before. Um, they're a really beautiful sort of cognac-y brown leather at the front and then they've got a neoprene backing on them which makes them super, super comfortable even though I'm not sure about them. What I really, really love is the, the neoprene because it just makes them really stretchy and comfy. The zipper also goes up the back, not the side. I don't know how I feel about that because I do tend to cross my legs a lot. So I feel like if I was wearing stockings, that would risk ripping the stockings all the time. The thing that I'm not sure about with these boots is they're very, very long. They come right up to my knee and I would prefer that they were maybe, I don't know, this much shorter just to come high up on my calf rather than go all the way up to my knee. Hence why I wanna try it on with some clothes just to see how it goes. All right, here we go. So yes, dead plant is still there. <laughs> I'm, ge I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. All right, so I actually love how this looks with the dress. Um, I love the pointed toe. These are very comfortable. I don't feel like they're squishing my feet at all. Um, I actually think they're really flattering with this dress. However, this is the real test, is if I bring the dress up, how do I feel? Not very flattering, uh, even with tights on. So the reality is, the only if I was to keep these, the only way I could wear them is to have a long skirt or a dress. I'm in two minds, I don't actually wear that many dresses. So I would much prefer to have a pair of boots that I could wear over the top of jeans. And um, sadly, I don't think these are it. Otherwise, I just love them. They're perfect. They were exactly what I was looking for because I wanted a pointed toe. I didn't want a heel that was too high. I wanted to be able to walk in them for a really long time. And yeah, unfortunately, I, I just don't think these are gonna be very practical. I just don't think that my body shape really suits them. So that's a bit sad. I don't think knee-high boots are for me. I just don't think that they look right. To get the balance that I want, I think they really need to be sort of high on the calf, but definitely still on the calf, not at the knee. Coming up to the knee is just way too high. <laughs> oh well, never mind. They're going back. And I should have said as well that these are the ostrich boots. So if any of you saw this and liked the look of them and you have a slimmer physique than I do and think that they might work for you then um, that's what they're called on the bed 
footwear website. Okay, so now I have to go into town to change these boots or return them or maybe exchange if I can find another pair in store. And I would very much rather not be wearing these jeans in public, but I'm gonna have to because if I wanna try them on with the jeans, ultimately I think the most circumstances in which I would wear knee high boots are going, or long boots is wearing jeans. And I think, I think I want to wear Opera by Zerzhov today. It's a very fancy perfume. Do I want to wear that or do I want to wear Lady Whitesnake? Actually, one moment. I think I might want to wear Lady Whitesnake instead, but I have to go get it. So I have decided instead to wear Lady Whitesnake by Stefan Umbert Lucas. You can't really read that because of the reflections. Sorry about that. This is a white floral, but it's also quite suede and it also is quite woody as well. Um, you'll notice that I did not spray my neck. <laughs> I don't spray my neck when I put perfume on because I find it too overwhelming and I'm more likely to become an osmic to it. So I like to spray it under my clothes, usually on my shoulders, which gives me a nice little scent bubble, but at the same time, not too overwhelming. And this is quite a strong perfume, so I don't want to overwhelm me or anybody else around me. All right, so it looks like I'm heading into town to return those boots. Okay, so you, you're down there now. <laughs> I've just gotten back. I was going to vlog the trip to the store, but I got shy and I couldn't do it. Uh, I, I had some success. I was able to exchange them for another pair, which are not brown and they don't have a block heel, <laughs> but they're black and they're about the same heel height and they're really comfortable and they look good so i managed to avoid going back into the perfumery <laughs> which is literally just around the corner from the shoe store i was tempted to go back in to try love delight again from amouage I, I spritzed it on yesterday and I really, really liked it. Even though I was a bit skeptical because it's had mixed reviews. Some people say it's really boring. Um, I don't think it's boring. I do think it's possibly not that groundbreaking in terms of a scent profile, but it is very beautifully done. And the sillage on this thing really smells quite wonderful. The downside is, of course, that it is 500 Australian dollars for a bottle. I guess for me, for that price, even though I think it is very, very beautiful, I have to agree with you know, what most other people have also said, which is very beautiful, but they probably need to wait to access perhaps a lower priced bottle. <sighs> Success. All right, so I went and took the other boots back. I've obviously come back with another box, so I was able to exchange them. I will try them on and show you. Yeah, totally, totally different look, but actually I think this works better. Um, because they're not as fitted, I get that balance that I want because I'm a little bit wider up here. I think that really works well. It also means that they're very, very comfortable. But yeah, I'm actually very, very happy with these. And I think they'll go nicely with that dress that I had on before as well. So all around a bit of a win, I would say. I also want to point out that I smell amazing. As you would have seen, I am wearing Lady Whitesnake today. I did a spritz on each wrist. I also put a spritz on each shoulder underneath my shirt. And then I put a spritz on my back underneath my shirt. And I just feel like that's created this beautiful scent bubble, not too much, but enough to be detected, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was an absolute win. I also, speaking of wins, I feel like my makeup is really on point at the moment. On a recent video, I was sort of asking a question, asking your opinion about some makeup that I was wearing. And somebody commented that they thought I was using a filter. I was not using a filter. So this, is no filter on my camera. This camera does have a built-in filter in it. Let me just turn the filter on. And there are three settings for the filter. This is the base setting and it gets more and more ridiculous as we go along. There is another filter, which is even higher setting, which is this, which is just ridiculous. Who would ever, who would ever use this? Um, so I'm not wearing, I'm not using a filter, but I will point out that I have noticed 
When I'm filming from this camera, which is a Sony versus my old Canon M50, the footage on here does look like the base footage on here does look more smooth than the Canon. So I just feel like there is inherently a smoother look to this particular camera versus the Canon, which was really raw and you saw everything. You saw every pore, every wrinkle, every crevice in my face, which I don't mind that much, but I think I do prefer to use this one even with the filter off just because because it does look a bit smoother. I mean, when you're, when you're editing a video every week, every week I edit a video and I'm literally sitting there for hours looking at my face very close up and it does get to you after a while. Of course, I want to look the best that I can look on camera without it looking ridiculous. Um, but just be aware that even this, I don't think is that realistic. Like the one thing I noticed with this camera is that the dark circles under my eyes just seem to disappear in real life. Actually, I might, what I'll do is I'll take some footage with my phone because that is very confronting. I'm oh, sorry. I just had a piece of toast before with a bit of peanut butter on it. We're trialing a new peanut butter and it's absolutely delicious. Um, so what I'll do is I'll insert a clip of me, me right now but using my phone and you'll see the difference so yeah just be aware that it's lovely to get all the lovely compliments that you guys gave me on that last video where i was asking about the makeup i was legitimately asking for your opinion on the color even though the color itself was a bit washed out which somebody also pointed out um, because of the lights which is true but it was really just I wasn't fishing for compliments and you all gave me these beautiful compliments about how great my skin looked, but it's not real. There is definitely a smoothing effect with this camera, even with the filter off. All right, so this is me on my phone and you can definitely see more wrinkles on here, um, more movement through my forehead, a bit more discoloration on my skin, uh, and you can definitely see more of the bags and the dark circles under my eyes. So, so my other camera definitely does give me a more pleasing aesthetic. I'm not going to lie, that's why I use it, um, but I'm not strictly using a filter. Um, I know that nobody really asked for this clarification, but everyone who keeps giving me these wonderful compliments for how, how fantastic I look, it's, it's not natural. It's a combination of lighting, which I don't have my light set up, so this is just natural light coming through the window, but it's a combination of lighting and uh, the camera that I'm using, makeup, all sorts of stuff. So it's not, it's not how I look in real life. In real life, I look a lot more tired. <laughs> So anyway, I just, I just wanted to clear that up. All right, so we're back on the real camera now. I think I'm gonna wrap it up there because I really do need to start editing this video so that I can get it all uploaded. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge, that's okay. I just wanted to get something out and I didn't have time this weekend to sit down and film a dedicated, you know, talking head video with a, a perfume theme to it. So, so who knows how this is gonna turn out, but it's an experiment. All right, I will see you in the next one. Bye.